This is a short video to show the management of a hard and wide dropped cataract. The first step in such cases is always to perform a good car vitrectomy to release any vitreous strands adherent to the nucleus. This is important to avoid causing traction and thus retinal tears that could eventually lead to retinal detachments. Next, the soft cortex material can be easily dealt with using the 23 gauge vitrectomy probe. If the patient doesn't have a PVD, we should always induce one prior to dealing with the nucleus itself. However, what I really wanted to highlight in this video is how efficient a phragmatome can be. The phragmatome is essentially a fecal piece without the sleeve, so it uses ultrasonic power to emulsify the crystalline lens, whereas the vitrector just cuts and aspirates. Therefore, the phragmatome is much more efficient to manage a dense dropped cataract such as this one. Regarding the surgical technique, as we can see here, we should first engage the nucleus with high vacuum, move it away from the retina for safety, and then use the ultrasonic energy to take down these fragments. It's possible to notice how nicely and efficiently these cataract pieces are emulsified. One by one, each piece is catched, pulled up and away from the retina, and then easily aspirated. The light probe in the left hand can also help in these maneuvers. Perfluorocarbon liquid can also be injected in the vitreous cavity to protect the macula if needed. The downside of the fragmatome is that it is a 20 gauge instrument, so it requires an enlargement of the sclerectomy to be inserted in the eye. However, it surely does its job in performing an efficient and safe lensectomy after a complication of a cataract surgery. Thanks for watching.